I'm Jason Serres from IPAC at Caltech, and I'm going to talk today about the image simulator for the NEO Surveyor mission. The NEO Surveyor is a mid-infrared space telescope designed to detect and characterize near-Earth and potentially hazardous objects. The image simulator creates realistic raw data for characterizing the data system's throughput and performance. The simulator is written in Python. It is massively parallelized and is deployed both on a cluster at IPAC as well as on the Amazon cloud. The simulator uses the actual planned spacecraft observation pattern and timing. It can simulate from as little as one pointing to an entire month's worth of all eight detectors. The simulator includes a really detailed model of the detectors and how they are read out. This includes the dark current and flat field responses taken from actual H2RG arrays. Read noise and Poisson noise receive careful treatment. We also include non-linearity, image latents, and radiation hits. We use a set of optically modeled PSFs, which can vary across the arrays with spatial distortion, and we can place those objects with sub-pixel accuracy, correctly treating large pixel size. Finally, we implement in detail with accurate timing the way in which the arrays are read out, namely sample up the ramp for the shorter wavelengths and correlated double sampling for the longer ones. The simulation of the sky contains real objects from all Wise whenever possible, and synthetic populations from Wise and Spitzer at fainter levels down to the confusion limit. The simulation also includes diffuse backgrounds from the CIB, the Zodiacal Light, and the diffuse ISM. These are critical for getting the noise levels right. And here is another patch of sky comparing the simulated NEO surveyor data to actual Allwise data. Most importantly, the simulation contains a synthetic population of main belt asteroids and near-Earth objects. So, seen here in red is a moving object tracklet in a set of simulated data that has gone through a simulated data reduction. You can clearly see the four different epochs of observation. If you look carefully, you can actually see more than one track. So, thanks for listening. Uh, please check out the extended abstract by myself and Kate Liu submitted to this conference. It has a lot more details.